ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن والاه وبعد ما برادر سيسترز وي ار ان ون اوف ذا وي ار ات ذس لانش سبوت ان ويل بارتو اند اي هاف ذس ليك بيهايند مي اند ذس از ذا تيبيكال اوف ذا سينري اوف ذس بليس وي هاف بين واتشينج ذس هورن بيل فيدينج اتس ميت اول مورنينج فور اولموست 6 اورز اي ثينك and uh, we got some nice pictures it remind me of the ayat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the risk the provision for everything on the heavens and the earth is for every walking thing every moving thing is on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is responsible for it and he knows it where it's originated and what its resting places ajeeb it was to see the male as i said yesterday in the uh, fajr reminder the uh, female is sealed up in the nest and the male goes and hunts and brings food for her yesterday i saw him feeding berries and i thought that's all he brings but today i saw him bring a lizard i saw him bring beetles and grasshoppers and uh, all kinds of things also berries and the amazing thing is he uh, hunts for them he swallows them they are in his crop and when he comes there he regurgitates them one by one one by one I don't know what the sequence of regurgitation is because I don't know what the loading sequence is but uh, amazing uh, to see how this works. Now another interesting thing we saw there was the two millennial chicks of this uh, of of the um the uh, hornbill. Uh, I think all hornbills are millennials. There's a male and a female chick. The male chick uh, his idea of uh, fun and his idea of uh, making life easy for himself. was to dive bomb the father when he is coming to feed the mother and try to make him drop his catch uh, but the old man was stronger than him so he never managed to get anything but uh, just made life difficult for us because he kept flying away uh, so we couldn't get our photographs until when he finally uh, managed to escape uh, the female tried a straight forward thing which is just to go and beg and beg and beg and grovel and he coughed up the goods so i think uh, the whole idea of uh, uh, a generation which believes that it needs to work for its living and another one which believes that everyone else needs to work for their living i think we saw uh, that as well quite distinctly in this in this morning um, amazing uh, kinds of things the uh, male uh, it's not even a chicken it's a male juvenile um uh, hornbill uh, was chased away repeatedly from Uh, a nest of a golden oriole the golden oriole is about 1/6 the size or 1/8 the size of the hornbill but um, uh, ha- the hornbill has the height of heart of a mouse so the golden oriole very happily chases him away uh, the whole beauty of uh, this place this is one of the world heritage heritage sites in sri lanka and i can well see why uh, as you can see there are these enormous trees and it looks like the tree has fallen and then the trunk has sprouted roots again and new trunks have come up from it uh, this is the the way trees are enormous trees everywhere land is more or less flat um, the sandy uh, depressions and and tanks which are called villus uh, and that's why this place is called vilpatu the khudrat of allah subhanahu wa taala the amazing changing scenery uh, the amazing changing weather one minute it's extremely hot and humid another minute it uh, we find that it uh, starts uh, drizzling and the temperature comes down and then we get a little breeze i always make dua oh allah send me breeze from jannah and the breeze comes alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and then of course it stops because uh, an ending breeze on call is only in jannah uh, here allah subhanahu wa taala sends us a little taste of it alhamdulillah now my brothers and sisters we Uh, remind ourselves of the greatness and glory of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in order that we recognize Him and worship Him as it is His right to be worshipped. As I said, in this whole scenery of these uh, birds feeding each other, uh, feeding their mates, and so on, we see the khudrat of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. How Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made the food for each thing, and He made, uh, He put in the heart of uh, His creatures love for one another that they. Take the trouble to uh, to feed each other. That male hornbill really works hard. You know that real, that male hornbill works so hard. It it only reminded me of what I see every morning when I look in the mirror. But other than that, amazing hard work of this uh, bird, uh, all the time uh, going and and it's an amazing hunter because it seems to uh, come back every little while with all sorts of stuff which is which it has caught. 
so it's a great um, wage earner for the uh, for the female and uh, she is in the nest and she is incubating the eggs and every little while she cleans the nest and she throws out all the refuse and so on uh, amazing sight to see how these creatures they love one another they uh, look after one another we saw an, also another small little bird uh, on its nest completely unfazed we took some very close up photographs uh, the lots of small ground nesting birds here we have um, lapwings uh, we have what is called the eurasian um, eurasian uh, thick knee now a particularly unimaginative name uh, because it has the knees of a scotsman in a kilt but uh, the amazing thing about the thick knee is that it seems to do nothing uh, so I, I asked if I'm, I said, what is the purpose, purpose of the thick knee? Why does it exist? So if I'm said it exists to do nothing because it just stands there. It just stands, stands there and gets tired. It sits there. And it absolutely, I think for the last three days, we've been passing these two pairs of thick knees, uh, one at each willow, and they just do nothing. So I was, I was very surprised. So if I'm said, you know, why are you surprised? Because uh, there are lots of people in the cities who run around all day and they still do nothing. So this thickney is actually doing nothing with uh, much less expenditure of energy. So I think the, thick, the thickney is onto a good thing. How can you do nothing uh, while expending no energy? Uh, fantastic uh, sights. Now the reason I'm saying that is because we also saw lots of monitor lizards here. Now monitor lizards actually uh, one of the major sources of food and protein is uh, bird's eggs and uh, bird chicks from from nests and uh, they of course they're great tree climbers as well. But obviously birds which are ne which nest on the ground are. Uh, primary um, uh, primary source of food for them yet all of these tiny little larks and uh, lapwings and thick knees and uh, all kinds of ground nesting birds uh, alhamdulillah nesting uh, obviously in safety because you see lots of chicks around and uh, them running around so alhamdulillah it's a it's a sight to see where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects in his qadar whoever is in need of protection and uh, the others who um, who die, die for the benefit of somebody else. Uh, in the wild, there is no uh, rape and plunder and murder. There is no Alexander the Great who is called great only because he uh, raped and plundered half the world. Uh, I don't know why, why we insist on perpetuating these nonsensical myths. Uh, but anyway, the, the, to come back to the subject, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this a beautiful world he uh, told us to go around and look at it and see it and appreciate it and see his signs in it and and glorify his grace and majesty uh, and that's what i uh, hope uh, i am doing and that's what i am sharing this with you uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless ifam for taking this uh, video because this was his idea he said why don't we show people also what we are looking at so i said why not and that's why we are here jazakumullah uh, khairan for listening assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh